I want to take my business to all the states where weed is legal right now, do alcohol delivery and do cannabis delivery out there, be, be the vibe, like the life of the party. Gabe Salazar is not delivering cannabis just yet, but his alcohol delivery business is on track to what he hopes will be a lucrative transition, becoming the first business in Massachusetts allowed to legally deliver recreational weed. Ho, 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 it's adult Santa Claus, like, you know? You come in, you come in with drinks and weed, like drug dealers, legal drug dealers at that. Deliveries are the next frontier for Massachusetts' cannabis industry, and the state is hoping it'll make up for past failures. When Massachusetts legalized in 2016, it included a mandate that the new industry offer opportunities to people from areas hit hard by the war on drugs. It was the first state to write social equity into law, and it created the Cannabis Control Commission to make it a reality. The CCC set out to help people who qualified open a dispensary and launched two pathways, the Economic Empowerment Program and the Social Equity Program. Over 400 applications came in, but only four of those ended in a dispensary being opened. That's less than 1%. Dispensaries are expensive. They can cost anywhere from $150,000 to $2 million to open. So, for the next three years, the CCC is offering delivery licenses exclusively to people who applied through social equity programs. People like Salazar. What up? Gabe, what's happening? Living the dream, baby, living the dream. Yeah, nice to meet you. So I grew up in Rosendale. It was rough back in the day. It came to a point where it was like, yo, like, I don't really have money, so... Like, I was doing errands for people here and there, you know? What do you mean errands? Like, errands, bro, you know? Once I decided, yo, I'm about to start selling bud, you know, we was just out here moving work on the streets. We had a trap house up the street from here. Take this left. How much, uh, how, like, how big did you get? Me, personally, I was moving, like, four pounds a week. Should let me drive. I, You've I been mean, in the house for too long, exactly, bro. Exactly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the house cat. <laughs> <laughs> Salazar is the ideal candidate, but he didn't even qualify at first. Based on where he grew up, he had to ask the CCC to make an exception. So on this side of the line, you're eligible for the this social equity. This side of the line, all this right here, and back there, you're eligible. But that side, you're but not. But this side isn't. And then, so you can see my house from right here, well, my parents' house where I grew up is, is ineligible. You are in the social equity program. How'd you get in? It took a lot of convincing. I had a, I spoke in front of the CCC a lot. Every opportunity I got where there was public comment period, like I would just let them know like my story, like what I've been through, you know, that I've been arrested, that I've been, you know, stabbed in my head three times. Why not have someone who's been in this shit, done this shit, like not be a part of it? Oh shit, we got an order. Yeah, so I just got an order that I gotta go pick up. You started this liquor company delivery in the hopes of transitioning to cannabis. Yeah. yeah. The idea being if you basically can get up and running with booze, you can just sub in pot when you get the license. Yeah, because I followed all the regs for pot delivery. So with that in mind, I started doing that, seeing if it would even work. Like, am I even going to flip this? Is this going to make me a profit? Like, it didn't sound like it. And it worked. For the CCC, launching a new social equity initiative that works for everyone is nearly impossible. And at a CCC meeting over the summer, other social equity applicants wanted the state to do more. When you really look at that, you're getting crumbs and this is not going to build any kind of sustainable business. It really seems like it was written as a trap for people expecting equity. Flip this thing upside down, inside out, this model of delivery only. It simply just doesn't work. We had initially wanted to allow delivery right when legalization started. Shaleen Title was a commissioner when the delivery program was created. So initially, we created delivery licenses that would operate like couriers. Mm -hmm. So they would take the product from a retail store and deliver it to a consumer for a delivery fee, like a Uber Eats type of experience for the consumer. We received a lot of questions about the feasibility of that type of business. So we added a second type of delivery license where the business purchases wholesale from manufacturers and cultivators and then delivers the products and makes a sale to the consumer. 
And the reasoning there is to have different options for different equity program participants who may have different levels of capital and different types of business experience. What are, what are the, the goalposts? It's essentially making sure that as a statute requires, um, those disproportionately harmed communities are meaningfully participating in the industry, both as employees and through ownership. The good thing about the exclusivity period is if you understand that delivery is a good market and you are an investor or a local official or a property owner, if you want to invest in the delivery market, you need to partner with somebody who meets the requirements of these programs. My big thing is shame on the CCC, shame on the commissioners for doing this without taking the time to really engage all the stakeholders. David Teresi is the president of one of the largest cannabis trade associations in the state, the Commonwealth Dispensary Association. Everyone's for social equity and inclusion until it hits their bottom line. And could this be a case where your organization is like, whoa, this is going to hit our bottom line bad, so we have to kind of come out against it? Well, I think that the narrative out there is that, that this is big marijuana versus social equity. What it's going to hurt is the small brick and mortar people, which is not big marijuana. Mm -hmm. I mean, people like to to group it all together, and it's part of the existing narrative that really bothers me about this. The, you know, the 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 constant playing off of each other is, I hate it. The CDA does represent smaller retailers in the state, but it also represents some of the largest cannabis companies in the world, like Curaleaf, which is owned by a Russian billionaire. The process itself is bothersome. So with the courier license, even though there would be an exclusivity period, at least the retailers are part of the equation, the municipalities are part of the equation, and that's the part with the CCC that just, you know, really fries my ass. When you think about how racist the war on drugs was, if you think about how the problem isn't solved, so to speak, can't blame people for, right. for being like, yo, this is a shot, why are you against it? Well, it's against the law, first of all. No, I, you you <laughs> I mean, told me you, why well, you're you against can change, it. You can, you can go change the law if you want. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you could go do that. You know, but I think there are better ways to help social equity folks than putting retailers out of business. In January, the CDA brought a lawsuit seeking to stop the new equity-driven delivery initiatives. The association said publicly that they were okay with one type of license, the type Salazar is trying to get. But their lawsuit would have ended all new delivery regulations. That didn't go over well. Customers threatened to boycott, members of the association left, so just a few weeks after, the association decided to drop the suit, saying it was time to look inwards and outwards. There are some people in the Massachusetts cannabis community who say own dispensaries who are like, yo, it's kind of whack that we don't get to participate in delivery right when it starts. I tell them, I'm here to help you eat. Like, let me help you make money. Like, you worry about what you're doing in the store and I'll bring the shit to the streets for you. What's it like working for Gabe? Like, is, he seems like kind of a unique boss. Yeah, so um, the first day I met him, I could tell that his vibe was kind of like mine, you know, in a way. Like, we, I could tell that he wasn't, like, uptight. You know, it made a great environment to work in. I appreciate stuff like that. Do you attribute that in some ways to the fact that you, you know, came up kind of similarly or in a similar, like, part of town or yeah, things like that? Yeah, so, you know, I feel like Gabe hasn't really spoken of it, but I feel like he's been through some certain things that I have been through, too. I can tell he, like, he's been in the hood, you know what I'm saying? So he can, he knows how to maneuver in there. Have you ever had a boss who owned the company you worked for be from, like, the background you came from? No. I've always been some type of, like, white person that, you know, is kind of about himself. So he doesn't really care about most people. Like my last boss, he just cared about himself. Didn't really care about people's really opinion and, and, and how they were. Well, did you feel like maybe your appearance, what you look like, the color of your oh, skin? Oh yeah, it takes a factor. It, it definitely has a factor in, in anything that I do in my life, anything. I have, I have tattoos everywhere. Automatically, I'm getting judged off that. You see the braids already, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. Is the cannabis job gonna be particularly different from this alcohol job? Weed is something completely different. We're gonna be the first people to do it out here, so I just wanna, you know, experience how it is, you know, experience people's reaction to it, because I know a lot of people are gonna be happy. A lot of people are gonna be happy.